guys, I'm back, and this video is going to be a little rough. Um, a lot of, well, a lot of people, probably not a lot of people, but some people really aren't going to like it. Um, Amber Lynn stands, you definitely aren't going to like this video, and a lot of people, well, if a lot of people watch this video, a lot of people, out uh, of the percentage of people that watch this video might think that I'm being really insensitive. I kind of am. I probably am. Uh, I'm skeptical. And I kind of see through some of the bullshit. Because there's definitely some bullshit going on in this story. So, Amberlynn stands. If you're here, you might want to click out. So, Amberlynn posted a Snapchat pic of herself in the hospital. Um, yesterday or like the day before but like in the early morning I, I don't know exactly what time it is if you want timelines you got to go to like Aphrodite's Peach or something like that um, so she posted a picture of herself in the hospital two different pictures and in one of them she posted her face with a mask on and she said this is the last place I want to be right now and in another one she posted a pic of an IV in her her wrist and uh, said that it hurt and it feels wrong or some shit like that. Because, you know, Amberlynn knows best. She knows how to put an IV in. So, she came out with a video. I just saw it. Um, I'm not sure when she posted it. Uh, 11, about 11 hours ago, I guess. And she actually told us what she was in the hospital for. Um... I did not expect this. This was a huge shock. I expected her to wait a few days and then give us a clickbait title and then tell us she really didn't want to talk about it and then maybe us find out like in August or something like that what actually happened. But she opens the video saying that this video is not monetized and I turned the comments off. Well we know why she turned the comments off because there's going to be some doubters in the audience. She had to say, like, it's not monetized. Like, she said it twice, like, in two different ways. And it was like she... She's like, it's not... It's just, this is monetized. It's not monetized. The way she said it, you got the feeling that it was a major decision for her to not monetize the video. Like, why are you acting like it was some major decision not to monetize a video? We all know you're money hungry and grubby and... YouTube is the only way you'll survive, but something like this isn't, um, it's not something you would even think to monetize, you know what I mean? If you went to the hospital and you got some really scary news and it was a big deal and it was, um, something you could easily clickbait, you wouldn't monetize it. Um, she didn't clickbait it, really. She said, it's, the title of the video is, I'm in the hospital, I'm scared. Um, it's a, it's a little clickbaity, but it's really not. I'm very surprised she didn't use the big C word in the title, because that's just how Amberlynn is, and we know that. But she didn't, so I'm proud of her for that. I'm definitely proud of her for that. She tells us that, uh, she's never been, sorry, I hate that I do that, uh, like, my lips, like, like, the side of my lips, it's, like, weird, um, it's kind of gross, I hate when other people do it, sorry, um, she says she's never been to a gynecologist, <clears throat> wasn't she in foster care for her whole life? If she was in foster care, then why did no one make her go to a doctor because I mean I was in the care of the state for a time when I was a teenager and they definitely made sure you went to um the doctor and the dentist and they made sure you did all those things it's just weird to me that she's never been to one and she's never taken the initiative to go on her own to see a gynecologist She's a 30-year-old, well, she's 29. She's almost a 30-year-old woman, and she's never, ever been to a gynecologist. I understand that, like, I, 
she's so big and she's always been so big and we know that her hygiene isn't great i mean she sent that message to casey asking him if she smelled like yeah if you have to ask your your ex that you do you you've got some some personal care issues and we know she always has so she's probably afraid to go to the gyno but i don't understand like how hard is it just to like wash yourself and shave and um it's basic shit that everyone does i just i don't understand um but so she's never been to a gynecologist okay um she okay so she talks about like tissue fault sorry i'm gonna rest the camera on my knee because my arm hurts because i'm fat and i can't hold the camera out forever um, she, when she's talking about, like, what happened to her when she was in the bathroom and everything, it sounds like, uh, a heavy period to me. I mean, you know, TMI, if you don't want to listen to this, I would, like, jump ahead, like, 30 seconds or a minute. Um, but I have PCOS and, uh... I know a lot of other women that have PCOS because I'm in like online groups for women that have it and one of the symptoms um, is extremely heavy periods and the way she says like she, she says she felt like she felt like she was peeing but she wasn't so I assume she's saying that you know blood and tissue was coming out of her vagina that's what happens when you have really heavy periods um pcos is polycystic ovarian syndrome and you can get cysts on your ovaries that are extremely painful and if they rupture it's like it's like giving birth like the pain is so bad you can't even imagine and you you just you bleed like really heavy and tissue comes out so she didn't say that she was in pain see that's that's something that i caught that she said and that she didn't say that bothered me about her her story i think it's not that i don't believe her i do believe her that most of the things happened but i don't believe they happened in the way that she says they happened kind of um I'll try to explain. She says that um, she never says she was in pain. She wasn't in pain in the bathroom. She wasn't in pain in the hospital. But then after she gets home, she says she's in pain. Now the procedure that she has is not a pain. Is it's not that she had is not a painful procedure. Um, I've never had it. I did look it up. Um, it's not painful now maybe she has pain because um let's say she's never used her vagina um which is crazy um she said her hymen was intact i thought that was wild so she's telling us that she's never had sex with a strap on so she's telling us that she's never even had sex with a lesbian which Furthers my Amber Lynn is not really a lesbian theory. But I don't want to question anyone's sexuality, so we're not going to talk about that. So the the blood clots and everything, the feeling of something coming out of you um, is extremely common. It happens to me every period um, for like the first two days. It's crazy. Um, her tears. Her tears are suspicious. Suspicious. Sorry, my mouth is dry. She, um, would cry at certain points, but I didn't really see, like, tears the way you see tears when someone cries, and she would cry, and then she would completely stop, and she would just be talking. That's not how people cry. <laughs> like, it was just, it was really weird. It was really weird, and I don't necessarily believe necessarily believe that she was upset enough to be crying i think the crying was definitely a facade i don't actually believe it she 
Oh. <laughs> she's the way she explains what happened to her and um she makes it sound like she had to have this emergency surgery and everything else stopped in the hospital and everyone was taking care of her and um if she didn't have this emergency surgery she would die. I had a heart attack back in January, which is crazy because I'm only 41, but I had a heart attack back in January because I've, I've really, I've had really high uncontrolled blood pressure for like years. It's controlled now, but I guess the damage is done. I had the heart attack anyway. So, um, I was in the hospital and there were times where I felt like the entire hospital was in my room and things were an emergency and I had a procedure done um a heart catheterization which sounds way worse than it is um but I had that as an emergency I don't believe this is as serious as she's trying to make it seem we all know that Amber exaggerates and she exaggerates to the point of lying so look I believe she had these procedures I don't believe anything was as serious as she says it is um, it's great to hear that somebody else told her that she has sleep apnea because everybody including doctors have been telling her that for years and she refuses to listen so maybe now she'll get a CPAP machine. Maybe now she'll do something about it. I hope so for her sake. Um, I'm not making this video because I want her to die or because I think she's lying about um, going to the hospital or having these procedures done. I believe she did. I al But I also believe that she's kind of... This video wasn't monetized, but I guarantee you the next one's going to be. The next one where she talks more about it is going to be the, um, I'm guessing the video that she makes after she gets the results. I'm guessing that that's not going to be monetized either, but I think all the other videos in between are going to be monetized and I think she's probably going to clickbait. Sorry about the hand. I think she's probably going to clickbait, um, the whole diagnosis thing. Um, I don't know why she specifically wanted us to know that her hymen had to be cut. That was just, I don't know. That just goes through my head, like, several times. Like, why? Like, why tell us? Um, you know, she whines about, uh, she whined about having her blood taken. Uh, oh, don't ever get your blood taken from your wrist. Oh, it's so painful. Blah, 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 blah. Bitch, get some courage. Be an adult. You know, shit hurts. Yeah, it hurts when you're in the hospital and they take blood from you. It hurts when you have different procedures done. It hurts. Yeah. Having medical care when you have let yourself go to this point, th things are going to hurt. I mean, come on, Amber. You ha you won't see doctors. The doctors that you do see, you don't listen to. You uh, you do doctor shop, okay? Don't tell me uh, we're accusing you of doing something illegal. A uh, Doctor shopping is illegal when you're going to different doctors to try and get narcotics. But doctor shopping is also going to several doctors to get the, the diagnosis that you want, to hear what you want to hear. That's also doctor shopping, and that is what you do, Amber. So, um, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's just ridiculous that, um, she is going to make this, like, this huge issue. If she would have came on and said, um, hey guys, you know, I'm having this medical issue, and let me tell you what happened. I went to the hospital and let me tell you what happened. That would have been like a normal person video. But she had to come on crying and talking about cancer, 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 cancer. And while we're talking about cancer, let's talk about Becky's mom. 
uh, Kiwi Farms got uh, some information from what is a reputable source. Now, I don't know what a reputable source is, but they say it's someone that has been, um, had the right information in the past. And they said that the reason Becky was away, um, Becky wasn't home that day. She wasn't supposed to be home. She was supposed to be spending the night at her mom's. And the reason she was spending the night at her mom's, because her mom is, uh, allegedly dying and what a coincidence that if this is if this is true if, if kiwi farms has it right if this if this person uh is telling us the honest truth what a coincidence that amber gets a really heavy period and has to go to the hospital on the night that becky's spending with her mom when she rarely sees her mom and um also, the fact that Amber didn't go with her to support her is weird, but we all know that Becky's mom and Becky's family don't like Amber, so I guess it's not that weird. Um, but it's just a weird coincidence. If all that information is right, it's a really weird coincidence, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if all this turns out to be Becky was at her mom's because her mom is dying and Amber was happening to have a very heavy period with a lot of blood clots that day. So she went to the hospital. Um, she has said that she had these really heavy periods before. Do you guys remember? It was like right around the time they went on that vacation. Um, I forget where they went. It was somewhere Becky wanted to go in Kentucky. And they just stayed in the uh, hotel the whole time. And Amber just ordered takeout like the entire time um remember she said she was having she had like a really really heavy period and she had it that day that they were leaving and the day before and she said that there was just like clots just like coming out so i don't know this is like my skeptical uh conspiracy theory mind here but just an idea um so we'll see what happens from her in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry if I offended you, but I don't really give a fuck. So that's what I have to say about Amber. Uh, I'm going to talk about myself real quick. So if you're just here for Amber, bye. And uh, I hope you watch my next video. Um, as far as me... Uh, I've lost three pounds. I'm down to 272. I got on the scale yesterday. Um, I know it's crazy to say that at 272 pounds, I feel a three pound loss, but I definitely do. Uh, I have cut back. I wasn't losing weight in the beginning. Um, and I think that's because I was still eating too many calories, even on a plant-based diet. So, uh, I'll do another video about my weight, but that's just a little update. If you're curious, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, you will see a lot more from me like this. I am not an Amber fan. I don't know how this channel I'm turned into, uh, Amber critiques, uh, when I meant it to be <laughs> a, a channel about my plant-based weight loss. But, um, yeah, if you like me, go ahead and like the video and subscribe because it really helps the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.